uh, I think America uh, is like a spoiled brutal kid. Yeah, well, so. pretty sad in that aspect. I'd be talking about the whole body image thing. Um, I'm actually working on a letter from somebody that you should probably be seeing by the time this makes it to air, where a girl's afraid to even post videos because people gave her hate mail about the fact that she was a little overweight. It's pathetic. I mean, this is the same country and society that cheered when Tyra Banks raged against the tabloid saying, you kiss my fat ass if you don't like how I look. And then, sometime later, look who's on the cover now, Jennifer Love, you who's, what, maybe 30 pounds? And they're calling her fat. You know, where does that end? And then on the other hand, you got plus-size models who are making millions of dollars on the same time. You know? It's just so... They, they, you, you, you can't win anymore. Yeah, I seen that picture of Jennifer Love for you. I don't think she was fat at all. Um, she just wasn't toned. Was all, was all in my opinion. And, and and the bottom line is, it's so sad that people actually give a fuck. I mean, so she's got a little pooch on her belly and, and a certain camera angle. Anybody who's buying that magazine, if they had a chance to hook up with her, even just to give her a hug, would probably you know try to year off their life in order to have that opportunity. It's just, it, 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 what I think it is is that people need to have somebody they could they, they feel that they could push down or bring themselves up. They would just be able to look in the mirror and just judge themselves, nobody else but yourself. Yeah. Were you nervous before you posted the first series video that people weren't going to accept it as much as a comedy? Actually, and this is one of the things that gets me through life, I just didn't give a shit if one person or a million people loved it. I just felt there was a way to get my, my opinion out there. I tried to present it as um, seriously as possible. That's why, if you notice um, in my descriptions, I say this is a serious video. For those of you who are expecting me to curse up a storm, skip this. You know, I, I made it up front, and either you like it or you don't, but apparently over 100 people do, so I, I'm doing something right. Yeah. Well, uh, that's how I feel about my, some of my videos. I... Sometimes they even put it in the description. I'm like, well, this video might suck, in your opinion, but I have every right to post videos as you do. So just, Absolutely. that's just it. Uh, type, oh, well, you suck. You probably are ugly. You know, you probably haven't gotten laid in years. Ha, ha, ha. Send. Uh, it's, uh, it's gone. I mean, just based on what I've dealt with growing up, if you're going to say I suck and that's the best you can come up with, I barely even register it, you know, I, I read over the, the comments, and if you say something creative that kind of makes me laugh, I'll laugh, you know, I, 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 if you say something that I can learn from that's a legitimate criticism, I'll take that in stride too, you know, you just gotta do your own thing and fuck everybody else, I mean, you, you still gotta, you know, not have a closed mind about things, but on the other hand, you also want to... You know, not, not take everything so personally. I think that's why so many people really become shy and introverted as kids. I wish that the me of today could jump into the me of eight years old and kind of have a little pep talk. <laughs> I think I would have been my own best parent. I mean, if I had TV or the internet, I would turn off the TV first. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, I, I watch so much less TV now that I know the internet, internet's around. Uh, to kind of come back to what you were saying earlier about the haters, um, without the haters, where would Howard Stern have been? The haters are the people who listen to him for the whole three hours or pick apart every little thing. The people who like him maybe listen for 15 minutes at a time. I look at it the same way. I'd rather be hate it, not, not in everyday life, of course, but when it comes to anything in the entertainment, my refereeing included, I'd rather somebody boo the crap out of me and tackle me to tears than to just not care that I'm there. You know, he hates an emotion, but it's still a reaction. It's hard to say. I mean, mm. even if you go to people who have hits of millions of, of, um, uh, of views on their videos and thousands of subscribers, they're just going to, the haters will not go away. You know, they're, they're going to be hating you from when you're nothing to when you're, you know, ruling the entertainment industry. I mean, look at Chris Crocker, for example. He's one of the most watched people on the internet. He's actually taking personal buttons if you ever see his profile which I find hysterical, because what's he famous for? Just crying in a, in, in a fake way possible. But it's still, you know, you still have that balance. Yeah. Uh, 
not everybody's going to like your product. If everybody likes your product, I think you're doing something wrong. And it makes you look like a sellout as well. Like you're changing who you are to get people to like you. Absolutely. And, and that's not good at all. That's not good at any level. Of course. I treat people how I want to be treated. Um, oh, that, that, that's another thing that you'll probably notice if you really pay attention to my videos is I have very few points where I will not go, but things that I won't touch upon, even if I find certain jokes funny about it, are homophobic or racist topics. In fact, um, on one of my most recent videos, somebody said, and I quote, do you think that Barney's a faggot? And I look at that just as bad as if you were to drop the N-bomb. I answered the video, actually was tempted not to respond to it at all, but the way I look at it, I'd rather put the word out there and then have a dialogue about it than to just act like it's not there, because it is there, and you have to address it, and people hopefully have to look deep inside where those feelings are coming from. If you're capable of hate on any level, that means that you're not really capable of love. Yeah. I'm, I'm, fully, I'm fully aware that when I do certain subject matters, there's always going to be somebody out there who knows somebody in that position. Um, you would be shocked at how many people even sent me private emails when I was lampooning Britney Spears a bit. But... You know, I mean, everybody's going to be offended by, by certain things, but you also have to realize, where's, where's the line between hate and humor? You know, I, I think it's all a matter of intent, and I think that it's pretty easy to see when the intent is there to be mean, as opposed to being funny. I and mean, as it, far as... It, it's funny, you look, you look back at Martin Luther King's speeches from the 60s, his whole, I had a, a dream speech, and people are treating it like, oh yes, we've come so far since then. Have we, though? I don't really think we have at all. I think that people are just better at hiding their bigotry until they're behind closed doors. It's a, it's a shame, and, you know, I, I just try to do my part in trying to educate people if they say something ignorant to me. I carry a few extra pounds if somebody calls me a fat fuck. I just kind of chuckle at myself and say, you know, something, I could lose weight, but you'll always be a fucking ignorant prick. You know, you just gotta... You, you gotta recognize the source, and the only some of these words only have as much power as you give them. Yeah. How do you do? You think that the video games, just uh, uh, very br briefly, do you think that Grand Theft Auto and these kind of games, uh, even just the gory games that are the war games that are out, uh, that you shoot someone and you see blood. Um, do you think that that's bad for our society? Do you think that kids actually say, hey, this is me, I'm going to actually go out and do it? I think you have to look at it on a case-by-case -case basis. You could have a, a video game like Grand Theft Auto, you could have a 12-year-old even watching a movie like Saw, and as long as you have the right guidance from the parents, it's the parent's responsibility. It's not the, not the media industry's responsibility to, to parent your kids. You gotta teach them right or wrong from an early age to be able to separate those kind of things in their everyday lives. Yeah. Well, what's easier to sit through that or two girls, one cup? Yeah. Oh, did you, I meant to ask you, did you watch the one with Kermit? What, Kermit's reaction to that? I thought it was creatively done, I definitely did see it. I've actually seen several of the reaction videos and they range from just being repetitive to being pretty funny and creative. Um, I, I, I got a kick out of it personally. Um, in, in my private life, which is not something I'm going to link to anytime soon, I made sure that a bunch of my friends watched it with me. I acted like I never saw it for the first time. And I was eating a chocolate donut, and I was offering them a bite of it while they were watching it. I just thought it was the funniest thing. <laughs> I, don't, I, I mean, how many in, internet... Um, forwards have you gotten since you first got online? See a donkey show, see the, uh, a woman fuck her pet. I mean, there's just so much just sick, sick shit out there that when I watched Two Girls, One Cup, my honest first reaction was, okay. <laughs> and then I just said, that was pretty pointless. And I moved on. The angry blue, blue sock on the other end, he was kind of nauseated by it. Yeah.